as I was waiting before God, I think by evening, I had two images that God started to put into my head. Two images. I had two imageries that kept on coming. And that was a sign that God was giving me some, you know, hint as to what is going to come. And believe me, when the name came through strongly, I know when God speaks. My eyes filled with tears. I just wanted to worship him. It was a most sacred moment. I just wanted to fall on my face. But when the name came, both the imageries that I saw was in that name. God is faithful. So for those of you who are waiting, let me announce the name that God gave me for the year. And I, believe me, last year was a year of demonstration and I saw that especially, particularly in my ministry that happened in Nigeria a couple of months back where it was conducted in the biggest Baptist church and we saw God demonstrating his power in a Baptist church. Mighty. Demons were manifesting like crazy, like unprecedented. So God has been faithful with the name he gave last year and I know he'll be faithful. And this year, I sense it even more. So let me announce the name for the year 2017. This year 2017 shall be called the year, can you put it on, of open heavens. Can we celebrate for God to give us such a mighty name? Can we put our hands together, give a Lord a praise in the house? Thank you, Lord. As usual, the, the elaborate preaching on this will happen tomorrow. I'm sorry, today. Some, service, some churches don't have service um, on Sunday. That's today. But we will have it because our service starts at 3 in the afternoon. So we have no problem. You can go home and get some rest and come back. But during our service, the, the, there will be elaborate description of this particular name that God gave. But let me give you three important uh, points he gave me, prophetic points as to what will happen with this name. Number one, he gave me this word that when this name is given, or when this name becomes a name, or has become the name for the year 2017, there will be three important blessings that people can expect. There will be more tomorrow, but three primary ones. Number one, you know, when God opens the heavens, there will be showers of rain. And the Lord told me there will be two kinds of rain. One, he told me there's going to be the rain of refreshing. The, the rain that brings refreshing, freshness. And the Lord told me very clearly that there are people that have gone through dryness, kind of, you know, drudgery, no excitement, going through routines, going through the motion, nothing to look forward to, very bland, very stale. But the Lord told me 2017 is going to bring freshness to your lives. It is found in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse number 1 and 2. Let me just read the, read the passage I'm going to preach. You know, give ear, O heavens, and I will speak. Let the earth hear the words of my mouth. Next to us. May my teaching drop as the rain. My preach, my speech distill as the dew. Like gentle rain. Gentle rain. Upon the tender grass. And like showers upon the herb. He told me, my people can expect freshness. There's another passage connected to it. It's found in Psalm. There are many passages. Psalm 68, verse number 9. Verse number 9. Psalm 68, verse number 9. Rain in abundance, O God. You shed abroad. You restored your inheritance as it languished. You know, the, 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 another translation says, 
on a parched ground, on a dry land, you poured rain and brought freshness. So let me say this, expect freshness in your life. Meaning, even your youthfulness will be restored. Come on, hallelujah. Woo. And the second truth about rain, the Lord told me, this is very, very powerful. Please note, note this, three years back on our trip to Israel, just before we could go to Israel, the Lord gave this prophecy to the church. And this is the time that he chose to re re release it upon the body of Christ. It's found in Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse number 11 onwards. Can you please read Deuteronomy 11, 11 onwards. But the land that you are going over to possess is a land of hills and valleys which drinks water by the rain from heaven. A land that the Lord your God cares for. The eyes of the Lord your God are always upon it from the beginning of a year to the end of the year. And if you will intend, indeed obey my commandments that I command you today to love the Lord your God and to serve Him with all your heart and with all your soul, He will give the rain for your land in its seasons, the early rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain and your wine and your oil. And you, He will give grass in your fields for your livestock and you shall eat and be full. Remember, when the rain comes, there's going to be harvest. There's going to be produce. And then he told me something. Verse number 17, please. 17. If you ever go away from God, look, then the anger of the Lord will be kindled against you and he will shut up the heavens. Now, how many of you know in the Bible, when God, any time, when he chooses to punish his people, the first thing he does, he will shut the heavens. And let me tell you, I have a sense over many, many families, there was a brace in heaven, but I heard it loud and clear. This year, it's not going to be a shut heaven, but open heavens. If you can believe it, can you give a Lord an agreement in the house of a Lord? Open heavens. Look, look. God just has to shut the heavens. There will be no rain. The land will yield no fruit. So every blessing of God will be refrained, will be withheld if the Lord shuts the heavens. Now I want you to go there. One more, one more passage. Tomorrow, today I'll preach more in the afternoon session. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse number 12. Deuteronomy 28 and 12. Look how the blessings come. The Lord will open to his good treasury. Now, how many of you know God has got a treasury? It's called good treasury. That means everything that comes out of that treasury is good. Now, how many of you want to access God's good treasury in the year 2000? I'm looking, I'm looking, looking. How many of you want the good treasury of God to open up over your family? Can you give a Lord a praise in the house of a Lord? Good treasury. But look, you know what's the name of the good treasury? The heavens. And God says, I will open that heavens. It's called the good treasury. To give the rain to your land in its seasons. And to bless the work of your hands. Anytime God opens the heavens, blessings will flow. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. So, how many of you are willing? You know, this afternoon I'll be talking about, it's not just rain, I heard the word floodgates of heaven will be open. So, as a servant of the Lord, I declare for year 2017, a year of open heavens, which means... No more blockades. Blockades are removed. Blessings are going to flow in the name of Jesus Christ from the good treasures of heaven. If you receive it, can you give the Lord a praise and receive it right now in the name of Jesus? Receive it, receive it, receive it. Number two, he told me 
Open heavens means there's going to be more angelic activities. You know, it's so interesting. Before I got this name confirmed in my spirit, one of the image, I had two images I said. One image, I saw rain falling. Rain falling. I didn't know what, why rain is falling. And the second image I saw, angels climbing on a ladder. Climbing up and down. So I didn't know what it means until the time the Lord gave me this word. Do you know, one of the most powerful feature of God opening the heavens, there will be angelic activities. It's found in John chapter 1, verse number 56. John 1, 56. John 1, 56. 51, please. Then he said to him, truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. It was a heaven opening for Jacob that angels started to climb up and down the ladder. When heaven's doors are opened, angels of God will come. That means Jacob doesn't have to fear. The future is secured. Do you know at that point, he's running away from his brother. who's was almost, you know, so in, you know, so intentionally seeking to kill him. That night could have been the death, you know, knell for him. He could have been dead that night. But let me tell you, that night's revelation of angels means... No matter where he goes, there will be protection over him. So I declare, in this year of open heaven, get ready for angelic visitations. Come on, somebody receive your angelic protection, angelic ministries by giving the Lord a praise in the house of the Lord. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. And finally... The Lord told me this very, very clearly. So for those of you who want to receive it, just receive it. It's very powerful. In Ezekiel chapter 1 and verse number 1. Ezekiel 1 and 1. Ezekiel chapter 1. And in the 30th year in the 4th month, on the 5th day of the month, as I was among the exiles by the Habar Canal, the heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. And the Lord told me, when heavens open, there's going to be a release of visions. Amen. I declare the season of the supernatural. If somebody can believe it, can you put your hands together, give a Lord a praise in the house of a Lord. The season of the supernatural. Come on, put your hands together. Season of the supernatural. Meaning supernatural signs and wonders. Supernatural miracles in the name of Jesus will open up for you in the year 2017. Now look at this people of God. You know, when Jesus saw or when, when Jesus got baptized, the Bible says the heavens opened. From that moment onwards, Jesus walked in the supernatural. Miracles, signs, wonders, power of God. And if you look, the Bible says in the last days, I will pour out my spirit, which means heavens will open again. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. So today, as a servant of the Lord, I declare, and at this point of time, I want everybody to receive this as much as you can. You came all the way this particular night to receive a word from God, and I'm sending you with a word. You're going to go with an open heaven. Amen. So let me declare this. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, I hereby, as a servant of a living God, declare and decree a year of open heaven in the year 2017. Can we put our hands together, give a Lord a celebration in the house of a Lord, a year?
Halleluja! Halleluja! A year where God will open the heavens to give you a rain in its season. That is connected to prosperity and blessing. You know, refreshing and freshness connected to the rain. A year where God is going to give you the blessings of angelic ministries. And the year where God is going to give you the, the ministry of the supernatural. So if you believe with this name given over your life, the enemy is already defeated. If you believe that, give a Lord the best praise offering in the house of a Lord.